<laughs> yeah, we thank God for that wonderful, wonderful speech. So the next, the next agenda is we are going to invite the CEO, bro, William Blee, a very vibrant man I know. He's too vibrant and he's so, he has a lot of things he wants to actualize. So he's a very, very, he's a man of vision. So he's going to come and talk to us about the purpose of this BLW. So there, there is an organization and we must know the purpose. What, what is the driving force, like the purpose of this organization? So he's going to come and throw more light. Maybe he's also going to tell us why they excluded men empowerment and only added women empowerment in the agenda. <laughs> so, Bro Williams, you're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, this lady is a wonderful lady. I call her uh, mommy. Uh, she's a doctor, actually. Uh, she's called Sister Chine. Thank you so much, mommy, for honoring our program today. I'm so blessed to have you in our midst. God bless you. Uh, so as our MC said, we are going to look at um, another segment of uh, BLW. And when you say BLW, um, living lives as the greater demand. So please, before I continue, I want us to do some, something small. Now I'm going to shout BLW and we respond living lives as the greater demands. I'm going to repeat it again. Then I will encourage and entreat all of us to unmute our mic to respond. BLW, living lives as the greater demands. Okay, so we are going to go. Please let us unmute our mic so that we'll go once, all of us. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Thank you so much. Uh, the rest, I can see uh, dynamic, still unmuted. Uh, please let us unmute our mic. Let us unmute our mic. Okay, thank you. So we go. B W. Living life. Living life as the Yes, and indeed, we are going to live lives as the greater demands. And as we are heading our forward to the meeting, you will not know that we are here for only spiritual growth. You know, God has, put, has packaged everything together. The spiritual growth is there, our personal life and everything, and we are going to know that. So without wasting my time, um, let us move on to the next segment. So, like, um, this was the few things our um, our co-founder was talking about. So, under the life burden, these are the few things. I just want to display it for us to have a clue about it. So, she talks about what Bible teaching. She talks about um, life principles. She uh, spoke about, um, okay, entrepreneur, I'll talk about it. She spoke about youth empowerment, girl child education. Now, um, there is marriage and uh, family teachings. <laughs> That's why I told you that it is not only about our uh, spiritual growth. As we are building our spiritual growth, we need to build our uh, future also, our uh, circular life also. Then the what? The women empowerment. So the next segment is the second part, which is what? Financial. That's business and entrepreneurship. Now, for Business, when you talk of entrepreneurship, we say it's the ability and the readiness to develop, organize, and run a business enterprise along with any of its what uncertainties in order to make a profit. So if you make a business and if you don't make a profit, then please, I'm afraid you have to go back and what, uh, go and do your calculations or your mathematics again. So business is what meant to what, make what a profit. When you talk about entrepreneurship, the ability of you to get ready to develop and organize what a business or to, and run a business what enterprise. That is why BLW is here to educate us, to uh, teach us how to become our own what enter own our own enterprise, run our own what business. We know that now the world is moving a digital way. You understand? Let's take the coronavirus as an example. Now, when the coronavirus happened, you can see that uh, businesses that were made by manual, 
miss um, man manpower what businesses they lay off a lot of what uh workers why because of what the woman interaction everything now those who were already in the digital world they were what gaining you get it no one to, uh, to lay off any um any worker so that tells you that you know as the world is moving you move accordingly with how it is what going but in what in a careful way in a godly what manner such that you will not follow uh the the, the corrupt what side of it any uh, how the world is moving you move on with what the, the beneficial part that will bring uh growth to yourself and to help others also the most uh, prominent example of entrepreneurship is the starting of what new business so in BRW, what we do here is we do business consulting. So when you consult us that uh, you want to establish your own business, or uh, you want to start a small business, you want to buy and sell, or you already have uh, have your own business, but you want to do uh, buy from outside, let's say buy from China to uh, Africa, we will help you and guide you how to uh, start with a specific capital, how to buy it, then we ship it to you, then you sell to make what your profit. And also through that, you can also create employment and employ people to also what uh, be working for you. And another thing we do is uh, buying and shipping from uh, China to Africa. So we help people from what, from buying what and shipping. And over here, I would like to uh, congratulate my brother, uh, Nimano uh, Mesa, uh, I think he, he joined. He, he, please, if you are around, can you say hi, Emmanuel Mensa? Please, is he, is he there? Okay, uh, so I will say thank you so much, my brother. Uh, through him, uh, the two, uh, she brought up uh, this business idea and we have been doing it uh, together. It has been so wonderful. So God bless you so much for the support and everything. God bless you. Another thing we do is selling. So we, we ourselves, we have our branches uh, in Ghana. And as I'm following on, I'm going to introduce to you our branch in Ghana and our managers and everything. and. You will get to know that in case you need any product, you want to start any business, or you want to do business with us, you can contact us and we'll work with you. So this is um, our business manager. He's called uh, Imano Tanoble. He is our business uh, manager and uh, help me to wish him a happy birthday. Actually, today is his uh, birthday. So thank you so much. Uh, this is our uh, business manager, Imano Tanoble, and today is his birthday. Happy birthday, sir. And we have our, uh, our business uh, receiver and distributor. He's the person of Prince Anno. He's a very uh, big brother of mine, a great man of God. Uh, please, sir, can you say uh, hi so that we can hear your voice? I can see you are connected. Yeah, hi, hi. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming. God bless you. So that's our receiver and our distributor. It's located in Accra, the capital city of Ghana. So when we ship the any goods we ship to Ghana, he receive it and distribute it to the various owners. Scott Prince and all. And uh, we have our business secretary, Scott Nimano Blay. You know, Nimano Blay. He's our business uh, secretary. Unfortunately, they were not able to join us today. And we have our marketer. Is the person of our uh, Abigail. She's also located in Accra. She's a marketer all over social uh, media, online. She do uh, marketing for us around um, online, then also help to give us customers and distribute to them. Then we have our accountant. He's the person of Edmond Anoble. He's our accountant. So uh, we are done with the business uh, aspect. The next aspect I'm going to talk about is the education aspect. Now, in education aspect, we help people who want to come to China to further their education, who want to come to China to further their education. And it's not only in China. We have agencies, and um, I have one of our agencies is here. So uh, later, I will let him uh, say hi to, to, to the house, and later, he will also come and say something small. Um, 
So we do applications. Uh, we apply for people who want to come to China to study uh, both bachelor's, master's, and PhD. So if you have anyone who is in uh, Nigeria, any all over the world, and want to come to China to study uh, for from the very first of your bachelor, that's your first degree, your master's, your PhD, postgraduate, any type of consult BLW and will help you to get admission uh, for you or the person. So um, thank you so much. Uh, this is the business aspect. And one of our agencies is the person of, uh, is my, my boss actually, my, my former, uh, should I say my former leader, uh, youth uh, campus leader. That's how I put it. I is the person of um, Bro Sam, doctor. Now he's a doctor. So Dr. Sam Olomo Toba, if I'm correct of your surname. Hello, sir. Please, can you say hi to the house? Oh, thank you very much, bro, William. Um, okay, right now is CEO Williams, all right? <laughs> so this is uh, Samuel, actually, and um, the introduction is just right. Thank you for this opportunity. And also, I can assure you that the, the, I mean, the idea that has been brought into place is definitely going to touch lives, just as the slogan is. And as regards the business aspect, you just do well to contact us and we'll do justice today. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So um, before our... Um, next uh, person come up, I would like to uh, brush us through a few things. Sorry for taking enough time. Uh, our board member, unfortunately, she's at the hospital now. She's running up her program. That's why she couldn't join us. So I will... So I will uh, join, um, take her place now. So uh, she was supposed to take, uh, talk about the entrepreneurship. Uh, so she was supposed to talk about the marriage, the marriage and the family situation. Was supposed to talk about the marriage and the family teaching. So about the marriage and the family teaching, somebody will say, ah, are you married? That you are going to talk or teach people about uh, marriage and family life. Now, when you read Genesis chapter 2, verse 18 to 25, and 22 or 25, now it's the, uh, the, the, the baby and the, the all the information and the person who said, uh, marriage that tells you that it tells you that god himself instituted what married and marriage is what god is the is the founder of what married and he gave us the basic principles over there now we can see that all over the world the the divorce rate is something that's what it is happening and marriage is something that is supposed to be very a uh, happy moment it's a family it said for the man and the woman shall come together cleave together as one and shall be called husband and wife. So marriage is something that is supposed to be what well enjoyable come for companionship for for a lot of things. You understand, marriage is not way to come and be boot, uh, beating, uh, be be cheating and uh, and be you know abusing life. It is something to come in and enjoy. Two people coming together to enjoy life, to to help to promote each other, to achieve each other what dreams. You get it? And everything is being found, the basic, we deal with the basic aspect of it, how to groom yourself to become, uh, to, to get into a good and a happy marriage home so that you don't make a, a, a mistake in life to join the divorce rate that is going on. Remember, God said, for what God has put together, no man should put what asunder, no man should separate it. So if you really, really want to make it to heaven, and you really, you really, really want to what enjoy internal life? Then you should forget about what divorce. And if you want to forget about divorce, it is high. You make what the good choice. You make the good choice. Making the good choice will help you. And that's a BRW. It is here to come and help you to guide you through the through the Bible and through yourself when you pray. God Himself will give you the right person. He what He said. So when you talk about the marriage aspect, now I I will say. How will you know that I am ready for marriage? You understand? Right now, it has become something like normal in the world that um, 
whenever you get to a teenager, I have to get a girlfriend, I have to be in a relationship, I have to get a boyfriend, without yourself uh, realizing and not knowing when and how you are capable and the right time for you to what, enter into a relationship. People just enter into the relationship anyhow, and later they end them into, what, into troubles and difficulties. BLW have come to stay to teach us and guide us so that we will not put ourselves in these problems. So we talk of um, the spiritual maturity, that is number one. Number two, we talk of self-independence. And number three, financial independence. And number four, emotional strong. So when you join the BRW, you learn about all those things, all these things I spoke about. Another thing is our famous priority. It is about our health issues. Very, very important. So BRW have come to stay. Our program manager will come and brief us how our upcoming programs will be. So our health issues will be invited a lot of health personnel. Now, when you look at our co-founder, she's not just, uh, excuse me for my word, uh, let's say just a mere person. She's a pharmacist and now yet to be a doctor. So that tells us that we are working with professions. Uh, so we deal with our health issues, very, very important. So BLW have come to stay to invite our health personnel to come and educate us. So please, anytime BLW is knocking on your door, that there's a program coming up, please find it a time, a good faith to join, to educate and to know uh, and to learn. And I know that your life will be built to meet the suitable way God wants you to live in Jesus. <laughs> Thank you so much. God bless you. Please, our MC can come up. Yeah, we thank you for such wonderful speech. And at least we all have we have an idea of what the BLW is all about. And by God's grace, maybe when we encounter maybe marriage problem, relationship problem, I, I, I we we definitely know who to call to come and help us and build it. Praise God. Hallelujah. So next on our list, please, 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 we are begging. Please let's kindly omit her, um not omit her, but let's on our turn on our video. We say obedience brings a blessing. Let's turn on our video. Please, and as we are turning on the video, I don't want to see from the face. At least let's smile and lighten the environment. Praise God. Kingdom CEO, please, if you can hear me. Please, please. 